everyone welcome back to the channel in the previous video we saw how to pass on data to a flex card using parent attribute property the flex card uses the received data to run queries with the help of a data raptor extract but what if we don't want our passed on data to be used for filtering records and running queries on the flex card what if we just need the flex card to map our send data and show it simply using data tables or output field? Well, guess what? There is a way to do that and that's what we are going to explore in this video. But before moving on, if you have not checked the previous video, go check it out. I'm leaving the link in the cards right now on the top of this video. So this is case 3. This is the third part in our series where we would be passing data from Omniscript to a flex card. But unlike other examples, in this video, we are going to use two properties together. First one is the records and the second one is parent hyphen data. We need to set records property value with an object in the Omniscript. And we also need to set the parent data equals to true. What this will do is, this would tell the flex card not to run query with this passed on data. Rather, on receiving true for this value, the flex card would parse over the received data and would map it with the output fields or data table as required. So let's move on to the demo. I have created one simple step in an Omni script named Demo4 where I would be taking some basic information from the user input that is name, email and gender. We are going to add another step here in which we will send the data to a flex card. But before moving on to that step, let's create a flex card. Let's name it demo4, the same as our Omni script name. For the data source, we should select custom. Actually, let's just go back and select none for this, for the time being so that we can save it and now we go to setup and couple of settings we need to tweak here is first of all enable the omniscript support so that we can embed this particular uh, flex card as custom lightning web component on the omniscript and then we need to set the data source. We would go ahead and select uh, custom and as soon as you select the data source type as custom it would expect you to give it some custom JSON and how do we get this JSON? So go back to our Omni Studio Omni script and let's just preview it once so that we can generate the data JSON once. Okay. Let's enter a name. Okay. 
and so we have our data in the form of a JSON. Let's copy it and open a JSON editor. Let's paste it here. Okay. So out of this, what we need is just this part of the data. And we go back and in our flex card, we would just simply paste this. Remove this uh, step one from here because we just need the actual value and not the key. And hit enter and click on save and fetch. This is the data that we have given to our flex card and let's see if fields have been mapped for this. Yes, output fields have been automatically created. You can simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. So let me quickly do that. We have name, we have email, and we have gender. Yeah. Let me quickly add one display element as well, which is rich text, so that on the Omniscript page you would be able to make out that it's coming from the flex card. So we just write flex card data shown here Let's copy it style it so that it's visible color I would select uh, inverse align it to the center go to styles and give it some background color this blue looks good okay all right so we have the data handy let's try to activate it okay Let's move on to the next step in our Omni script. We would add another step element here. Let's rename it, uh, I mean, the field value to flex card. Showing flex card. Okay, now all we are left with is dragging and dropping a custom LWC. And the tricky part comes here where we need to enter the predefined properties of text card. In this example, we are going to set the parent data. And remember guys, the order is very important here. If you if you're sending parent data second and records first, it's not going to work. So first you need to configure the parent data property. Set it to true because we want our data to be visible directly on the flex card and we don't want the flex card to run any queries using our passed on data and the second one is records and we will set it with step one data because step one in our example is an object okay 
Let's see if it works. Let's try to activate this version. Okay, let's enter any name here. This is the email and this is the gender that I've selected. And let's click on next. And it's showing no data here. So why is that? Let's go back. Let's try to troubleshoot what went wrong Let's try to preview it first and see if it's loading the data. Yep, it's working here. Let's go back to design. Let's see what's the name of these fields. Okay, the name is different. So let's name it the same way as we named our fields there in the Omniscript. Let's rename it to gender. Okay. Let's try to activate it and let's see if it's working now. Looks like we have not selected our required flex card over here. We have just configured the property. My bad. Let's try to activate the version again and try one more time. There you go, the data is being reflected on the Omniscript using a flex card, where flex card is not using the passed on data for running any database queries using data raptor or SQL query. So that's it for today's video, thanks for watching.